Hello and welcome to Worth a Purchase where I play a game for exactly one hour and I tell you if I'd consider buying it myself. Today is Irem Collection Volume 1 which is releasing digitally on the Switch for $25 but as this is physical paradise, that's all we care about and physically this is being released by Strictly Limited Games in Europe on their website in various collector's editions and it's also releasing physically in Japan in January with English. Links are below for both, the Japanese one does support me. So I have to say, I think I didn't give this release its due when I mentioned it on Switch Watch's Let's Get Physical series. Maybe that was down to marketing or my own lack of research, but I wrongly assumed that this package was just three games, three ROMs. It seemed rather meager, especially since we knew these were being stretched over five volumes. And while that still rings true in some aspects, I've warmed up to it a little bit now that I've played this myself because while it is technically three games, in total there are eight because you have variations. And yes, some are more different than others, but it's still a way more interesting proposition. For Volume 1, we have Image Fight, Image Fight 2 and X Multiply. Image Fight 1 has the most versions, you get the Japanese arcade and worldwide arcade release, not sure how different they are. Then there's the PC Engine version and the NES and Famicom releases. While Image Fight 2 only has the PC Engine CD version because I believe that's the only place it released on. It has cutscenes and voice acting in Japanese of course. And X Multiply has the arcade versions for Japan and worldwide. Again, probably not a whole world of difference. But you know what? They're all fantastic. Let's start with Image Fight, which is a vertical scrolling shooter that has a similar element of like R-Type, where you can fire off your modules if you want. But yeah, there are a few kind of power-ups. You can have a static node around your ship, which can be blue, or the red ones, which in the original programming always fire in the opposite direction you just inputted. So if you strafe right, the nodes will shoot leftwards. We've all played shooters like that. It's pretty standard. However, for these ports, whether you choose it or not, you can now essentially play them as a twin stick shooter using the right analog stick to twirl them around. And it plays amazingly. It naturally makes things a lot easier, so you might want to ramp up the difficulty a little bit, and there's lots of options to do so. There are loads of variables you can add or take away, and a negative here is the menu setup. I didn't really like the interface so much, can't really explain why, it just felt a bit confusing. There's a rewind feature too, which I made ample usage of just so I could show some later aspects of the levels. And there's even filters to play around with, color palettes, you can pretend you're on the Game Boy if you fancy it. Image Fight 2 is very, very similar. In fact, aside from the story cutscenes and enemy layouts, they seem mechanically the same. There hasn't been much evolution, but not that they're needed to be because they're both awesome, genuinely enjoyable games, and approachable too. Obviously, I made the most of the assists in this port, but I wouldn't consider these to be, like, properly hardcore. I think anyone can pick them up and have a decent time with them without getting absolutely crushed instantly. I can smell a 1cc being kind of possible, even for me. Then there is X Multiply, which... I'm not sure why they didn't call it R-Type, because it genuinely feels like an R-Type game. But it's even more awesome! For this game, it's side-scrolling, and the gimmick is that your ship has tentacle-like things popping out of it, which, once again, you can twirl around like an overexcited squid. It can block enemy shots and also highly damage opponents. So, again, it's made it much easier with the twin-stick mechanics if you want it to. I love the level design, so gruesome and organic, I feel disgusting playing it, but you know, in a good way. And overall, yeah, I am solidly impressed with this package. Hell, I even had a banging time playing the NES version of Image Fight. Who knew the NES has such amazing shooters? Good knack and Image Fight, you are spoiling us good sir. Would I buy it? Well, Strictly Limited, their lowest price physical version is 35 euros, which is pushing it because that's like 38 American dollars. Play Asia has the Japanese version for 27 dollars, which is perfect in my opinion. 
So yeah, links below for both. There are also various editions available, choose wisely, but I do think they are three cracking shooters with nice versions of them, especially of Image Fight. Oh man, I wanna play the NES one more. In fact, I'm gonna play it right now.